What's doing? Welcome to another episode. This one's gonna be a technical one. Let's talk about those EGR delete cables. Yeah, that's right, let's talk about the EGR cables. So they're available everywhere, they're pretty cheap, value for money, they, they do work. Uh, but what do they do? Let's have a look. Uh, this is a V6D40, all the cars all work the same. Uh, this one's come in with an EGR delete cable on. We're actually gonna tune this car uh, to do better things than what that cable can do. But let's just have a look at what it's doing now with the cable in versus what it does with the cable out. So the cable is just one of these things. It just plugs in to your factory map harness and plugs in here. Uh, and doesn't throw any codes, but makes the car run. On the dyno, we log all this, and this is what the current air temperature is in the car. It's connected to the car now via OBD, so you can see the coolant temperature versus intake air temperature, but our current intake air temperature is 31, 32 degrees. So there's a little bit of a difference. So what does that do to the car? Well, it tells the car, don't open the EGR because it's too cold. Um, the intake air temperature is too cold, don't run it. You know, it's not, it's not within the parameters of the car. So it doesn't turn the EGR on, which, which is a good thing, because uh, it just does clog up the intakes and create problems and it's more, more problems it's worth. Uh, but what does that do? Every action has a reaction, obviously. So what does that do to the car? So what we'll do is we'll run it up now with the EGR cable plugged in, and then we'll unplug it, we'll do a back-to-back -back run, and then we'll do the log and show you what the difference is. I can show you as soon as I unplug it what the difference is there, but let's show you what the actual car does as a difference. <laughs> I'm going to leave you there, uh, I'm going to unplug the cable now and then I'm going to run it back up again back to back straight away, so stay tuned. So I've just unplugged the cable, uh, it literally just clicks in and clicks in, it's not very hard to do, about three seconds. Uh, throw this on the bench, run it back up and take you over the dyno and show you what it does. Yeah, so there you go. So you've seen a couple of runs. Um, they actually go pretty good. They run 146 kilowatts, 450 new meters, uh, standard, uh, really good. Uh, EGR cable in versus EGR cable out is a difference. So let's have a look at uh, the power and torque differences, but also a difference in the temperature and what it does with the fueling. So let's go have a look. So you can see here our intake air temperature is 41 degrees. So that's what's reading currently in the engine bay. And here we have, what's blurry as shit, but that's 32 point something degrees, 32.1. So it's sitting there, if I start the car up now, we'll start it up. You'll see this air temp will start dropping down straight away because there's airflow going through it. So that'll drop back down to probably ambient temperature. There we go, I changed my camera settings, we've got a better view. So you can see 32 degrees, 41 degrees not running. So you can see here, we've got run two versus run three. Uh, run one was just to find out where things went. Uh, so run two is cable in, run three is cable out. So red versus blue. So we'll close that down out of the way. Uh, and here we have, our power here, so cable in 143, 439, cable out. So we're making more power and more torque uh, with the cable out. So I've just brought up a torque line, so there's not much noticeable difference in it. You know what I mean? Like it's very tiny, but numbers are numbers, they do matter. Uh, so there is a difference in how it drives, obviously power and torque wise. But let's have a look, we'll change these graphs, we'll have a look at what that is in intake air temperature versus AFR. So I've just changed the screening over now to intake air on the left and AFR on the right. So the left hand side is always the solid line, the right hand side is always the dotted line. Let's have a look at the screen, see what the difference is in the temperatures versus AFR. So as you can see here, that's EGR cable in, just under three degree, negative three degrees. And with EGR cable out, we're actually under 30 degrees, which is what our temperature is. So it's actually under the intake air temperature outside in the dyno at the moment. Now this side is our AFR, so the lower the number, the richer, the higher the number, the leaner. Again, these things don't mind running lean because they're just an air pump, uh, but with the richer they are, sooty they are, power, blah, 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 blah. That's another story. But you can see EGR cable in versus EGR cable out. The whole way through that range, that EGR cable in is running richer. Like, not be by much, it's still safe. Like, it's not unsafe, but it is running richer than what it is running out. So what does that mean? 
uh, without looking at numbers on the graph. That means it's running richer, which means it's using more fuel. Uh, it's always going to be running that richer thing. So you're always going to be paying, not much, but it's always more fuel. Uh, it always thinks it's negative three degrees the intake air temp. Now these cars are pretty smart, and if it sees an, you know, a high intake air temp, it'll pull power to protect it. The EGR cable won't let it ever see that. It'll always be negative three. So if you're loading this thing up and you're in the middle of the desert and it's at 50 degrees, the car should in turn pull power to save the motor because the intake air temps are too high and the air quality is not there to make the power. The EGR cable will always say negative three, even if you're in 100 degrees of intake air temp. So your 15, 20, $30 cable, whatever they are, uh, does a job, it deletes the EGR, but it's, <laughs> the backside of that is it makes it negative three intake air temps it makes it run richer, and the safeties aren't there to try and catch it, to say, hey, look, our intake air temps are too high, let's pull some power. And you're actually using more fuel and making less power. So our yeah, long story short is, get a tune, have it done properly, where your intake air temps aren't adjusted, and you can have everything turn on or off, whatever you want to do, depending on the car, and what your goals are out of it, what the mods have got. This one has a snorkel, an air box, a three inch exhaust. Uh, these don't have DPF standard, because they're pre-16. Uh, so it should be a good thing, it should make good power. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna put a tune into it, we're gonna run it up and I'll show you tune versus no tune uh, for shits and giggles, I guess. But long story short, EGR cables, are they worth it? Price-wise, yes, because you're getting you know, a $30 cable fixes it. Longevity, no. Get a tune, have the intake air temps read right, have the fueling run right, spend a little bit more money and get it tuned to suit the car that is gonna be safe and run forever. But let's get, a, speaking of tune, let's get the tune loaded in We'll run it up, do some testing, make sure it's all right. I'll show you another video. Uh, and at the end, we'll go through before and after and show you the goals and the gains and what we've done. Uh, hang by. That's it, that's the tune done. Uh, and I didn't video for you guys, this is another run. Uh, but let's have a look at the screen, see what it's got. Uh, it's a good increase in power and talk. So let's have a look and I'll just show you what we've got. So we are there, so I've got EGR cable in, EGR cable out, and then a the tune. So you can see now this is the power. So we've got some good power gains and it's our torque from this side. So we've got yeah, some good torque gains, some good power gains and it carries that all the way through. And same with the power, carries that all the way through. So obviously a tune's not as cheap as an EGR delete cable. Uh, there's more involved in the tune, but you don't just get just that one part, you get a whole lot more. Uh, it'd be better on fuel, it's gonna be more power, it's gonna be more torque, better throttle response. Uh, there's heaps of different options we can do in tunes, depending on the making model of the car. You know, Land Cruiser's doing two tunes on a switch. Uh, yeah, if you're doing plus 30 injectors, there's heaps and heaps of people more involved with tuning. Um, this is just the EGI delete cable side of things, uh, just to show you what they do compared to what they do. So if you like this sort of stuff, let me know. Hit that like, hit subscribe. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy some more technical stuff, but otherwise I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.